Hello, my name is Arctic, and I speedrun retro games using Rock Band and Guitar Hero controllers. And this is a tutorial for directly connecting a Wii Guitar Hero controller to a MacBook. Uh, this is require some extra, uh, extra hardware compared to my older video. Uh, that older video used just Bluetooth and a Wiimote. Uh, but here I use a, a Wii Guitar, uh, Wii, Wii Guitar Hero controller uh, with no Wiimote. And I use this uh, adapter called a RAFNET uh, classic controller to USB adapter version three. This was about uh, $25 before shipping. Uh, I'll have the link down in the description. Uh, also, I use a uh, USB to USB-C adapter. So uh, this is very simple. You just have your, your, your Wii guitar and you plug in the RAFNET adapter into that. It goes directly in. This makes your, uh, your output for your guitar a uh, USB, so if you have a USB computer, you can just do that straight. Uh, but I have a MacBook, so uh, I have to use a USB to USB-C. So I just plug that in here. And then I can just plug that directly into my MacBook. So uh, when you do this, you'll additionally have to download, if you're using a MacBook, you'll have to download a free software called Enjoyable, which I'll have the link down in the description also. Uh, so once you've got that software, you open it up and it looks like this. Um, and you'll see uh, over here uh, where there was nothing before. Now it says one player uh, WUSB moat V2.2, number one. Uh, and along with, uh, it has all of the inputs uh, for the uh, Wii guitar. And uh, so you'll notice that when I press the buttons now on this guitar, uh, the, the enjoyable will go to the corresponding input. So the frets here are one, two, three, four, five. And uh, the strum bar, when, you do, when I do strum up, it's button nine. And when I do strum bar down, it's button six. And when I do plus and minus here, it's button seven and eight. Uh, you also have these things called axis inputs. Uh, there's a, a little D-pad here, uh, not a D-pad, um, like a joystick. And so you can move that around. You can assign an input to that too. You can also assign an input to the whammy bar. Uh, I don't use these for when I'm playing retro games, but you can. Uh, so the way I... Uh, I use this for inputs for retro games is I assign each of these buttons to um, a keyboard stroke using this press a key function here in enjoyable. And uh, I will match that to the enjoyable key presses in my emulators. So here my strum bar uh, down or up rather uh, is left and my strum bar down is right, uh, which corresponds to moving in a um, moving an NES controller. And my, um, my fret buttons, one, two, three, four, five, correspond to up, uh, the keyboard press X, the keyboard press Z, down, and keyboard press E. And so what I do is I just map those inputs here to the what would be an NES controller. So now button two, which presses X, would press the A button in Castlevania or in uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. So. Uh, I'm gonna show you what that what I mean. So now I'm I'm plugged in. I have enjoyable running, uh, and if I'm in my emulation window, I can I can unpause using the um, the plus button. And now if I strum left, I can uh, sorry strum up. I move Simon to the left. If I strum right, I move Simon to the right. And the fret buttons, uh, let me move over a little bit. The fret buttons uh, will uh, move uh, as if I'm pressing the any uh, pressing a keyboard or pressing a button on the NES controller. And this works for uh, several emulators. So this is Nestopia that I use for the NES. Uh, this is Genesis Plus that I use for the, the Genesis. Oops. Yeah, that's right. So, and then I use uh, B BSNES for the Super Nintendo. So I found that you, um, if you're using a MacBook, you have to use, uh, you have to use standalone emulators like Nestopia and uh, Genesis Plus and BSNES. Because if I use a uh, a group emulator like like RetroArch or OpenEMU, it will view the Wii guitar as a USB controller, and you can't map the buttons exactly. Uh, so if somebody, if anybody knows how to beat that. Um, then please let us know down in the comments because like I would love to be able to use my guitar for 
uh, open emu games and retro art games because that gives you more access to more games than you than just the standalone emulators. Uh, so that's it. So you uh, you just use a, to use a Wii Guitar Hero controller with your MacBook. It's really easy. You just uh, unfortunately you need to get some extra hardware. Uh, so this works with uh, all versions of uh, Mac OS X that I, I have tried. And basically, you need this RafNet adapter. You plug it directly into your uh, your Wii Guitar. You plug the, the the RafNet adapter into a USB to USB C, and then you plug that directly into your MacBook. That's it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please like and subscribe. Also, you can check out my guitar retro speed runs at uh, on my Twitch channel. I'll have the link down that below. Thanks very much. Bye.